Welcome back. We've been learning that God created pets, birds, and fish. God created so many more animals than that, even wild animals. When we have pets, we take care of them. We give them food, a place to sleep, water, and everything they need. Did you know that when God created foxes, he also gave them the ability to make dens to live and hide in? Did you know that when God created lions, he also gave them the ability to hunt to find food? Did you know that when God created camels, he also gave them the ability to go without water for a long time because they would be in the desert? God took care of the needs of all the wild animals he created. He gave the wild animals ways to protect themselves. God is the provider for the animals. But he didn't just do that for animals. God loves us even more, and he cares for us and provides for us. We need food and protection, and God gives us food to eat and families to take care of us. God provides. The most important thing God provides is a rescue for us. We are far from God because of our sin, and sentence for punishment is death. But God cares for us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die and take our place. God rescued us. God provides. Let's stand up and say John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. God rescued us. God provides. Let's pray and thank God for providing all of our needs. Dear God, thank you for caring for your creation and taking care of all the things we need. Thank you for food and shelter and love and all the things you provide. And thank you for rescuing us even from sin. Thank you, God, for providing. Amen. This week, if you go to a zoo or watch a movie with wild animals in it or study them at school, let these amazing wild animals remind you that God provides, not just for them, but for you too. Bye.